Hi guys, I'm Cami from Cami Secret Ingredient and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make banana muffins. They're really versatile and you can put a lot of different things in them like coconut or chocolate chips or almonds or basically anything you want. And you could put on like cream cheese frosting and make it into a cupcake for dessert or you could eat it for breakfast. You can pretty much do anything you want with them. So let's okay, get started. So we're going to start with the dry ingredients. So first put in a bowl one and a half cups of flour and also I put about half a teaspoon of salt in there. You could also use salted butter in the wet ingredients instead of salt in the dry but I find using salt in the dry better because I don't exactly know how much salt is in salted butter and I want to make sure that my treats are not too salty. Okay, good. And then add a teaspoon of baking powder. And then for the secret ingredient, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. Measure that out. Okay, that looks good. Now on to the wet ingredients. Okay, so for the wet ingredients, first start out with two bananas. And when you choose your bananas, make sure that they have these brown patches on them because when they have brown on them, that means that they're ripe and a ripe banana makes a good muffin because they, you know, taste a lot more banana-y. I guess that's what I'll call it. Then use a fork to mash it up. Die, banana. Die. Die, banana. Die. Okay, so that looks pretty good for the bananas. Now add half a cup of melted butter and I added a teaspoon of vanilla into it because I thought that would be easier than, you know, measuring it out and putting it in to batter after it's done. Oops. Okay, and then add half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. There should be some chunks of banana in the mixture, just like this. Okay, and then add two eggs. One. What do I love how the yolk just like flops in my blah. And I've learned that moving the spatula in the middle when you're mixing in eggs is always better than mixing it like that because then, because if you do it this way, then the egg gets more incorporated. I found that out over lots of mistakes. Okay, and then add about half of the dry mixture. It's a little more than half, it's okay. Okay, and then when you're done mixing this, add in the other half, or less than half in my case. And the batter should be pretty thick when you're done, and if you're going to add any additions like the coconut or almonds or chocolate chips, now would be the time to add those. Make sure to scrape the bottom of the bowl in case there's any extra like flour or something. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then, got my muffin liners. And scoop about a quarter cup of 
batter. And I figured out that quarter cup is the best amount of batter to use in cupcakes or muffins because they won't get Oopsie daisy. Oops, that's okay. I'll just have one less muffin, I guess. Oh, I keep doing that. That's okay. I'll just be two muffins short now. Okay, that didn't happen on the last one. Now we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, now all we have to do is wait for them to bake. Okay, there goes the timer for our muffins. Oven's hot. Ooh. These look good. Okay, now all we have to do is wait for these to cool. Awkward silence. I didn't stop. Okay, so they're pretty much cooled. They're still a tiny bit warm, but that's okay. If you're going to put frosting on them, let them cool till they're like not warm at all. Just like completely cool. Turn them out. I like watching them just fall out. And then I'm gonna arrange them all pretty on the platter. This part got a little bit burned from the splats of batter that I accidentally spilled. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to taste one. It tastes really good. There's still some chunks of banana in it, so it like, tastes like really banana-like. And then this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like inside. See, there's a chunk of banana. 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 Don't care what it's called. Okay, so mom, that's how you make banana muffins. And you know, at the end of each video, I say thanks for watching and please subscribe. Okay, bye.